This is an amazing one. Even it is just 570 grams. Hello guys, welcome to T's photography channel. Today I want to show a new lens, the Sanyang 85 1.4 for Sony E moment. I like this lens. The first time I hold on this, I just told me, yes, it is. It is what I want. What is the difference between this lens with the other 85mm lens? At the first, it has just 570 grams, and it has very good image quality. Sony Alpha 7 series are usually lighter than 600 grams. If the lens is also lighter than 600 grams, you will feel comfortable. If it is too light or too heavy, one of your arms will be ached. And then, my gimbal is VBO lab. I can use two heavy lens, such as 85G Master on the gimbal. The image quality is also the main reason that I bought this lens. The Japanese isn't so excellent, but it is still good when you use the biggest aperture to shoot in. I am surprised with its dispersion. Its dispersion is better than 85mm 1.2 XP. It is not perfect but it is also excellent. The bokeh point isn't beautiful, so cat air is ugly I think. But the bokeh is so soft, I think it is better than Sigma 85 Art, but not good as 85G Master. The anti-glare is better than old Sanyang's lens, but it is also bad, if you can, lens holder is necessary. The focus speed is good enough, and this video can show you how fast if you use this lens to shooting video. It isn't made by metal, but uh, feels good if you hold on it. It has weather sealing gasket, but uh, it is so small, you can use it on small reading day. And uh, there is no button on the lens. I don't like this design. Finally, can this lens become the king of the portrait photographer? I'm not sure because I am not a portrait photographer, but uh, my friend who comes from India, his name is Rocky, he is uh, very good on portrait photography, so I wonder him try to share some experience with this lens used on portrait photography. Alright, this is Rocky, my portrait photographer. I got my 85mm f1.4 lenses from Samyang. So these lenses are great for portrait photography. I could speak about portrait photography for now just because I'm a portrait photographer, I don't really know much about the rest. So I take some great portrait photographs using this lens. For example, I took my model, I made her stand out on the sun and then I tried to take some backlight photographs. They worked amazing. So right now you would get to see it on the screen here. So this shot was shot by somewhere between the evening and I just let my model stand outside in the sun and then I just shot her with this 85mm lens standing close to some leaves it just worked out so perfect and these lenses are great for low light photographs so the picture that you're seeing was shot on downtown Seattle with a model of mine it was sometime between like 8 to 9 in the night this works amazing in the low light so I just used my I didn't even use any kind of a stand or like tripod or whatever I just shot this picture handheld and this picture worked amazing this lens are so crystal clear and it produces some great background bokeh effect 
I would suggest you these lenses for portrait photographs. Go for it. Thank you.